Hi guys, it's been a long time here. Today we're going to look at how to prepare the laboratory reagents for titration. So and that is what we're going to be, we're going to discuss today. So there are some keywords or terms you need to understand when it comes to preparation of laboratory reagents. Most importantly, the titration. However, we have different type of titration. We have the acid base titration. Acid base titration. Then we have the redox titration. The redox titration. Then we have the iodometry. We have the iodometry titration and many more. But however, for some examination bodies in West Africa, we have these three type of titration that is mostly given as question. So starting with acid base titration, then that involves the titration between acid and the base. Then redox titration has to do with the titration between an oxidizing agent and a reducing agent. Then we have the iodometry, which has to do with the titration of iodine with uh, some reagent also. So now but before we talk about how to prepare reagents in general, we need to understand some terms. And one of those terms is concentration. So I'll take it from here, concentration. The word concentration means the number of moles of solute or the amount of solute present in one dm cube of a solution. That is what we call concentration. What do I mean by that? If I have one liter of water in a container here, and I have also one liter of water in a similar container, if I decided to put three cubes of sugar into this to dissolve, I put three cubes of sugar into this, provided the sugar, each one is one gram. So, which implies that I'm going to have 3 grams of sugar in this solution. So, which implies that in the mass concentration, that means the amount in mass of the solute that is present in this standard volume, which is 1 liter, is 3 gram per dm cube. Don't forget, dm cube means 1 liter. So, 1 dm cube is the same thing as 1 liter and is also the same thing as 1000 mu. And it's also the same thing as 1,000 centimeter cube. It's also the same as 1,000 centimeter cube. So we need not to be confused about that. So now, and I decide to put six cube of sugar here. So which implies that this contains six gram. Six gram. So from there, we can say that the mass concentration, the amount in mass. The, the, the mass of the solute present in one dm cube of the solution is 6 gram, and that is per dm cube. So now, and don't forget, mole is one of the quantities we use in chemistry. And mole, mole has a relationship with the mass of the, uh, the mass of the substance dissolved in the solution and the molar mass of that substance as well. So, of which we know that number of moles is equal to the mass all over molar mass. Don't forget, mass happens to, do, uh, happens to be the mass dissolved in, in the solution, and the number of moles is the amount of this 3 gram in moles. It's more or less like you are converting from centimeter to meter, or vice versa. So this is a mass, but what is the exact value of this in moles? So to calculate that, this formula would be useful. Then we would be able to get the molar concentration. So this 3 gram is called the mass concentration. Mass concentration and the word concentration simply means the number of moles or the, the number of moles or the amounts of the solute present in one dm cube of the solvent of a, of a solution rather so the solution now is a mixture of solvent and the solute 
So the amount in moles or in mass of the solute present in one year field of the solvent is what we call the concentration. And concentration, simply from my explanation, is divided into two, which is the mass concentration, mass concentration, and the molar concentration, molar concentration. So another name for molar concentration is molarity. They call it molarity. So molarity, molar concentration are the same thing and they can be used interchangeably. So now this leads us to use of some formulas of which we have molarity is equal to mass concentration all over molar mass. Just like we have number of moles equals mass over molar mass. So we have the molarity equals mass over molar mass. So if I want to know how much in moles I have dissolved in one gem cube of water here, then I have to take the three gram of all over the molar mass of the sugar. Then I will be able to get that. Now this applies for, for solid substances like sodium hydroxide, which is a base. Then we have some reducing agents and oxidizing agents that are always in there. Uh, granulated form or powdered form or solid form. So we can use this method to actually determine the to actually prepare a certain concentration of our choice. So for instance, for instance, if I am to prepare a solution of sodium hydroxide or a question series, prepare 100 centimeter cube of NaOH, which is sodium hydroxide, of concentration of concentration 0 0.2 mole per dm cube. Now, if you look at this very well, we were not told the mass of the sodium hydroxide that will be dissolved in 100 centimeter cube of water to give us the 0 0.2 mole per dm cube. So we have we actually know that. To prepare 100 centimeter cube of this molarity, then is the is equivalent to dissolving 0 0.2 of sodium hydroxide in one dm cube of water. Then we bring out the 100 centimeter cube from that from the uh, 1000 centimeter cube of solution. So, but to actually get the amount in mass that would be dissolved in 1000 centimeter cube of water to actually get this concentration, then we need to know the molar mass of sodium. Don't forget Na is 23 gram per mole, then we have oxygen is 16 gram per mole, that's the molar, and the raised atomic mass right that doesn't have a unit, so we have H which is 1, so the molar mass of NaOH would be 40 gram per mole, so 40 gram per mole is the molar mass of NaOH, and we know that molarity, like I said earlier, is equal to mass concentration over molar mass. So this implies that I can actually find the num the amount in mass I am going to dissolve in one dm cube to give me this concentration. So if I have the molarity to be zero point two equals the e to the x all over forty, so then we have x will be zero point two times forty. So this would actually be the amount in gram I would measure. 0 0.2 times 40 would be the amount in gram I would measure and dissolve in 1000 centimeter cube, which is equivalent to 1 dm cube. To actually get this concentration, then I can bring out the 100 centimeter cube from that mixture. And that 100 centimeter cube will have the same concentration. But in a situation whereby you don't want to prepare up to this, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to prepare an excess volume of it. You just want to prepare the exact hundred, one thousand centimeter cube. We dissolve zero point two times forty gram. So then, if I'm going to prepare hundred centimeter cube, I will dissolve hex. So if I cross multiply, what would I have? Ten, rather. So if I multiply, I'm going to have ten x equals 0 0.2 times 40 so and that will actually give me 0 0.2 times 4 
Yeah. So x will actually be equal to 0 0.2 times 12 gram. That is the amount in mass I am going to dissolve in 100 centimeter cube to give me the same concentration if I am not ready to prepare up to 1000 centimeter cube. So that is just how to prepare a solid substance. Let's now treat how to prepare a dilute solution from a concentrated one. What I have explained what is called concentration. So we can have solution of higher concentration from a solution of lower concentration. Acids are mostly always available in their liquid form, liquid of high concentration, in their solution form of high concentration. So we apparently, the stock solution are always the one of high concentration and we do prepare them, we do prepare the dilute one of the required concentration from the stock solution. So how do we achieve that? Anyway, you need to know the industrial con concentration of the stock solution. So and to know that, that is C0 will be 10 multiplied by the percentage. Then we have the specific gravity, which is the density, all over the molar mass. So with this, all this information could be found on the level of such reagents. So you would get the percentage, you would get the specific gravity, which is the density, and normally you should know the molar mass. So you would be able to know the concentration of the acid of industry. So if you are going to make a, a smaller concentration from it, like uh, a concentration of an acid is 18 moles, so that is very, very high concentration. I am, I am meant to prepare uh, uh, 0.2 moles from it. So how am I going to do that? So there is a formula here called the dilution factor of which you can use and it will help you out. So we not v not equals c1 v1 so c not is the industrial concentration of the acid while c1 is the required concentration to be produced and v1 is the quantity of the new diluted substance you want to produce so to do that uh what v not is is the amount of volumes or oh, sorry the volume of the concentrated acid you would dilute it with v1 which is certain volume of water to actually give the concentration c1 let me express this we have c naught to be the industrial concentration so c1 is the what dilute concentration then we have v1 is the volume required to be prepared the volume of dilute rather and you can also call it volume of dilute solution so and at the same time we have a v naught so this would be the volume of the concentrated acid you would add to a certain volume of water to give you the concentration required so that is v naught volume of conch acid or conch reagents required. Anyway, uh, acid in this case used to have these uh, kind of uh, properties, and not only acid could be prepared using dilution factor, it could prepare any other solution uh, with uh, this uh, dilution factor. So now, suppose I have an acid of industrial concentration of 18 mole per dm cube and i have meant to produce a new uh, 250 centimeter cube of 0 0.1 molarity or mole per dm cube rather so all i need to do is to just know how much volume of the concentrated acid i would need to prepare 250 centimeter cube of this molarity so to do that what would i do this formula will just be applied in 18 times v naught equals I need 0 0.1 times 250 so which implies that v naught will be 0 0.1 which uh, 0 0.1 times 250 all over 18 so whatever this gives 
would be the volume rather or the concentrated acid that would be needed and once it is calculated volume of which we got here we are going to subtract it from 250 so the volume we got here as our answer will be subtracted from 250 so the remaining the leftover from the 250 will be the volume of water that will be used to dilute the volume V0 and that would give us the concentration 0 0.1 so that is just the, the, the little thing I want to bring for you today thanks for watching please subscribe to our YouTube channel it's free thank you